housing, the American Warty Sea Anemone. Now there's, when you look at the sea anemones, you can see that they don't really have any markings on their sides, like the uh, Warty, the Red Warty Sea Anemone, and uh, several others. But you know, there's actually over 10,000 different kinds of sea anemones. And their sizes range from anywhere from a few inches all the way up to six feet wide. Thank goodness these don't grow that big. These we find, whoop, that one tried to jump. Not really, they don't jump. They don't move. Um, if they, what they have, they have this little sticky petal on the bottom. And that sticky petal just holds them to something hard. Then, this squishy part, it just, it's just there. In the middle, you see that blubbery section in the middle? That is its mouth. Now, it's kind of gross, but not only is it its mouth, it's also its butt, kind of. It's where it goes poop, too. Now, these little tentacles right here, any little touch, They kind of stick to you. And these feel like, feels like tape sticking to your finger. Others would sting the fire out of you. And you could be hospitalized by, these, the, by the venom in them. But these, they don't do anything. They just kind of hold on and hope your food and pull you to, try to pull you to the middle. But we're much stronger than they are. And when they uh, what they'll do, they'll try to pull their food into the center, and they'll just sit there and digest them. And then they put them out later, like we said. Kind of gross. Now, say the conditions aren't right for them. They'll actually release and float through the water until they find another hard surface that's better for them. And not only that, um, I forgot to tell you where we find them. We actually find these down right there in, on East Beach in Galveston. Um, there's the intertidal area, and that's where we have the tides going out and coming in. And what it's doing, it's washing food straight to them, so they have to do no work at all. Kind of lazy. I kind of like them. Um, apparently, fun fact, someone's eaten one before. And they say it tastes like a hybrid, a hybrid of veggies, pork. Then it has a fishy aftertaste. I'm not that hungry yet. I'll just believe them. All right. So that's a little bit about our sea anemones that we have near us on the Gulf Coast. And go check them out sometime.